hi guys i hope your day is going so well i'm here to make it better for some of us <laughs> i'm super excited today because for those who would like to come to the uk to work um there is a visa under the tier 5 visa that permits you to enter the uk to work and the great thing about this visa route is that it doesn't require any experience it doesn't require any qualification and you don't even need proof of english I know some of you are thinking I'm referring to the skill work visa or the healthcare assistant visa. <laughs> no, it's not. This visa is called the charity work visa. And for those who have heard about it or those who haven't heard about it and want to get full information about this visa, charity work visa route is for individuals who wish to undertake voluntary work in the UK for up to 12 months as you see it's a tier 5 visa and it's a temporary visa that you can use to switch to another visa whilst you are in the uk so if you think this is going to interest you grab a cup of cold or hot drink as applicable and watch me as i discuss the benefits of this visa the eligibility that is who is eligible to apply for this visa how to apply and also companies that are currently recruiting under this visa scheme hi i'm Ogini baby sola welcome to my channel talk to baby if this is the first time you are seeing my face then you are new to my channel kindly subscribe and be a part of this family as we would love to have you here and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for taking your time to watch my videos thank you for the likes thank you for the shares do not stop doing it as this encourages me to do more. Now let us move on to today's video. Although this visa route is voluntary, that is, it is non-paid job. However, there are ways that you can benefit from this. Number one benefit is you can move into the UK on this visa route with your dependents, that is, your partner and your kids, if you've got kids. Two. Your partner can take up any job of choice and it is for unlimited hours. Three, although this job is a non-paid job, but you can take up a second job provided it is same job description as the charity work visa that brought you into the UK. And you can do this job for 20 hours per week and you will get paid on this second job. Four, you can be able to upgrade yourself that is study whilst you are on this visa five you can switch visa whilst on this visa in the uk that is if you've come to the uk as a carer under this charity work visa you can be able to nominate your experience into getting a job as probably a healthcare assistant or get any job under the sorted occupation list and then you switch visa those currently on visit visa are not exempted because people who visit the uk on standard visitor visa um which usually means a general tourist um for up to six months are free to do incidental voluntary work that is the main purpose of the visit is not to volunteer but you're already in the uk and you like to volunteer so you can do that while they are in the uk provided it lasts no more than 30 days in total and is for a registered charity so you can use that to also gain experience and you can use that in future if you want to get employment in the uk this visa is a 12 month visa however you can be able to extend it prior to the expiration especially for those who did get 12 months at um, the first visa approval recall that your spouse can take up any job as your dependent and you also can be able to work under the required shortage occupation list of jobs so i would advise that you take it as a priority that whilst you are on this 
worker um this charity work visa you look out for jobs under the shortage occupation list of jobs as the required jobs in the uk so that you can be able to switch from the charity work visa to the skill work visa prior to the expiration of your charity work visa to explain further charity work visa is a temporal visa and it is not a route to settlement in the uk however jobs under the shortage occupation list makes you eligible for um, the skill work visa and once you get the skill work visa you will get permission to work permits to work in the uk for five years and upon expiration of your skill work visa that's after working in the uk for five years on this visa you become eligible for permanent residency which is known as indefinite leave to remain and then you can further apply for your citizenship in the uk for you to be eligible for the charity work visa one you must be 18 years or above two you must have a passport or a travel document three you must have a job offer with certificate of sponsorship four you must have um, you must take the tuberculosis test and add the certificate to your application that is if you are from a country that is required for you to take tuberculosis tests i think most african countries you are required to take tuberculosis tests also you'll be required to submit proof of funds to show that you're financially capable to take care of yourself whilst in the uk However, if you are lucky and your your employer is willing to take up that responsibility, they will be required to write it on your certificate of sponsorship that they will be taking care of your expenses whilst in the UK. But you would now be responsible to submit proof of funds for your family, that is for your spouse and your kids as applicable. For the proof of funds you will be required to have a thousand two hundred and ten pounds in your account for 28 days and these 28 days must be within the 31 days of you applying for this visa the application fee for this visa is 259 pound and it's the same amount if you are applying within the uk or outside the uk you will also be required to pay um health surcharge of 624 pound per year for proof of sponsorship for your spouse, you're expected to have um, £285. And for your first child, you're expected to have £315. And for your second child or any other child, they're expected to have £200 each. To apply for this visa, you will need proof of identity. That is, you would be required to submit your biometrics and once that is done, you would wait for three weeks for a decision to be made on your visa application. That is, if you apply outside the UK. But if you apply within the UK, you require to wait eight weeks to get a decision on your visa. To be on the safe side, due to delay in responses on application currently, you are required to put in for your application three months prior to the due date you have to start the job in the uk as stated on your certificate of sponsorship registered of licensed sponsored so list of organization licensed to sponsor workers on worker and temporary worker immigration routes see the list of companies that can sponsor you to come work in the uk on that skill work visa or the charity work visa but currently what we are reviewing is the charity work visa you can see that the first one is under the county of abishay and it is um a skill work visa but just after it we have the same county of aberdeenshire and then it is a charity work visa so what i have done because the list is long so what i have done is to look through and filter out um companies that currently offer certificates of sponsorship that is that are licensed to um give jobs to people to foreigners who wants to come and work in the uk and i'll be sharing it with you however i'll also share this 
um, add this link to the description box below so that you can look at your visual hours and check other companies too that offer jobs on this charity work visa. A different charity organization currently recruiting foreigners to come work on a voluntary base in the UK. However, one big organization you want to look at is Lash. There are 10 Lash communities in the UK where people with and without learning abilities share life together, living and or working in the community. And there are various job opportunities, but you know what you're looking out for is volunteering. So you just check and you can just start looking through. Um, when you get on the site, you can see youth um, work leader. It is on paid role, um, chair of trustees. You have the volunteer furniture um, builder. You have admin volunteer. Like you have different job so you can just look through and see where you fit in one good thing about this job again is that you would actually be given accommodation and you will also be given like a stipend like something it's not paid for yet but you will still be getting some monetary um some monies for you to be able to sort yourself Another thing is you'll be getting meals. I mean, you can just go through the website and see what's available. Other organizations where you can be able to get um sponsor certificate or sponsorship are as soon as I get more information about charity organizations that is offering um voluntary jobs and also that I have certificates of sponsorship. I will come up here and put it to you so that you can be able to leverage on this opportunity. <laughs> If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, this is a good time to do so. Also share this to other people so that they can benefit from this. And I also benefit in turn because the more views I have, the more I am encouraged to do more. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.